Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 8th of June 2025. It's a lovely morning here in Bangkok. It's quiet outside. Yes, I am in Bangkok and it's quiet, but <laughs> I'm off the main road here. Uh, I can just hear a bird singing or something and it's quite nice. I can see the sun through the curtain, which I haven't opened and I'm probably not going to open, <laughs> but it's just shining through in a lovely way. It just feels like a really nice morning. I must have had a decent sleep last night as well. Uh, so that's good. What else is happening? Um, that ball that I mentioned in a previous video that was running around uh, Birmingham um, has managed to, uh, uh, is believed to have escaped from an abattoir. So that's congratulations because it's actually managed to be rehomed, rehoused, whatever the correct term is, uh, somewhere in a in a charity, in, a, in an animal sanctuary. Um, so congratulations. I mean, you know, that takes some doing, doesn't it, to rush, <laughs> to escape from the clutches of death uh, and to find yourself in a sanctuary. Well done to that bull. Um, shows a good bull spirit. Um, what, uh, what it didn't do was catch a bus anywhere, and it might have found it quite difficult if it was out in the countryside in the UK, in England, I should say, uh, because up to 18% uh, of um, buses have local uh, buses in the counties. That means not in the towns or cities, but in the local areas, um, countryside areas, have disappeared, just gone. Um, so, you know, although Boris Johnson promised um, to improve the, 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 the services back in 2021, of course, like many of the things that he lied about, in fact, it went in the opposite direction. And um, it's really important for uh, people who live in the countryside who don't have their own transport to have access to um, public transport and it is difficult I mean obviously because there are fewer people it's it can seem dif more difficult uh, in terms of uh, economics because you know uh, if there are fewer people I mean obviously in a town you can fill a bus very quickly and that works out uh, economically um, but you know we have to think of much more than just the e economics we have to think about if those people are using private vehicles that's likely to um, increase the carbon um, emissions uh, as well, carbon dioxide emissions as well, if they're driving uh, combustion engine cars, we could be, uh, I say we, they could be uh, traveling on um, electric buses. Uh, modern buses can be electric vehicles nowadays, I think, and so don't even need to be huge, do they? Um, you know, but it's an important thing that needs to be done for the, the, the just for the convenience and life uh, things like the important things about getting around that we take for granted if we live in a city. I live in a city. I can get from any a, point A to B very easily. But, you know, if you're in the countryside, in Thailand, of course, we just have motorbikes. <laughs> we live in a, in a very warm country and uh, sometimes some of the roads are not that great. But, I mean, basically pe local people have motorbikes at which they use for everything. But it's not really uh, feasible, I think, in the UK. And it's very difficult for, for old people to... Uh, you know, you don't want to see your great grandmother get on a, a motorbike, do you? Although in Thailand they occasionally do. Not often, I must admit, though. It's usually they just get younger people to go and do it, whatever they want to do. But you know, we can't do that all the time, can we? Let's get on with our game of Sudoku. Then this is the El Pais expert level puzzle. Why isn't the observer? Why isn't it the observer? The observer puzzle is is not here yet again. So I believe that it's probably stopped. By the way, if anybody in the UK. Uh, actually buys the printed version of the Observer. Please let me know if the um, printed version has a Sudoku puzzle. I would like to know. Uh, is, is it just that it's not appearing online, or is it that since the takeover by uh, Tortoise Media that they've just abandoned the Sudoku puzzle? I, I would like to know. Let me know if you happen to be buying a, a, a copy of the Observer in the UK. Thank you very much. Right, let's get on. We've got one. We've got an eight that I've just put in. Uh, is there anything else that I can spot? Yeah. 
yeah I found a 2 down here and down here which will give me a 2 in that square Uh, but not noticing much else. Oh, there's a fly in the room. Um, so I'm going to go through the numbers. Indeed, there's a six available. Let's put that there then. Eight blocking across here and up there puts eight into one of those two squares blocking up, eight blocking up there, eight across there. one up here and up there Two this way, that way. I keep looking at this middle block here. Um, I know quite a lot about this middle block. I know that twos are in those squares. I know that fives are in those squares. I know that sevens are in those squares. Uh, I know that eights are in those squares. And what do I know about nines? Nines are like that. Hmm. Quite a lot, but I don't think there's a single there in this block. I don't think so. Unless I worked it out wrong.
Oh, okay, we've got four blocking up here, so four in one of those two squares blocking down, four across there. And there's a four. And now we've got a pair of four and eight here and there, so that means four and eight in those squares there. Uh, anything else? Well, we could say ones are there and there. two blocks across there so this is four and eight so two's not allowed there two blocking down there and there's our two two up here two down there two across there and then i've got a pair of two and seven in those squares we've got two and seven here so we've got two blocking across here i should say oh we can do better than that sorry two across here two across there two down there there is our two and then seven blocking this square seven blocking this square there's our seven, and I believe this is a five, right? Five blocking down here, so five in those squares blocking up. Yes, that's a five. And we're left with eight and nine in those squares there. <clears throat> that's three and nine up there. This has got to be four and seven there. So seven blocking down here, that's, oh, I don't need it. I just got one number missing there. <laughs> Looking at stuff I don't need as usual. Seven across there, seven across there, seven down there. And there is a seven. nine blocks across here and there that gives me a nine in this square Uh, so I think we're looking for one, three, five, six in this column. One, th <coughs> three, five, six. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, one, three, five, six, and we got one, three, and six together. So that's a five. Five across here. Five going to the top here. Five in one of these two squares blocking up there. Five across there. There's a five. Two across here and there. That's the final digit, two. <coughs> five blocks here, there's our five. This will be a three to complete that block. And threes block across here, giving me three in this square here. Three up here, three down there, three across and across there. Missing from here is one and something, one and six, ah yeah, six, because we've got six blocking across. Again, just one number left in that row six there. Uh, now we've got five blocking down here, so that's our five, and this would be our digit one. That's a one and six then, so we've got six blocking down there, there's the six, there's the one. And the last numbers to get there are four, eight, I think.
five across here, five up there. There's a five, and then over here for the four. Let's finish the row. Four blocking up, four up there, and there's a four. Four across this way, four up there, there's a four. Uh, we can get this, all we have to do is work out what goes there. Or we could just note the seven that blocks up there and says that's a seven, there we are. Might be a quicker way of doing it, I suppose. Seven blocks across here, seven blocks up here. What does that mean? It means seven is either here or there. Whichever way it will block down, that's a seven there four blocks this square here we need a four in this column it's got to be there that's got to be an eight eight is needed here eight also blocks up there giving me an eight in that square and eight across there should finish yes that's the last eight missing number here nine i think Four blocking across there, there's the four, there's a one. Okay, large part of it done already. I think we'll just click on the digits that still need to be done and see if we can see if we uh, spot anything. Yeah, okay, so the ones blocking up here and across there give me one in one of those two squares blocking down and one across there means that that is a one. And so the last number to place there is six I think six blocks up here and across there there's our six and six across here and six up there means that that's the final six one more digit needed in this column um, five no not five what are you three and here there's only one number left that I think is a nine and then here we're looking for five uh, as I say almost done again we'll just click on what we need see if it's there can we get one no can we get three yep three across there there's our three missing number there is nine I guess and seven blocks this square so in the top row there's the seven that's a one one blocking across there there's our one missing number here nine nine across there gives us the final digit nine this is a four Seven is all we need to finish the grid. That's our expert level puzzle from El Pais for Sunday. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with some other games later, regular games, but of course no Guardian slash Observer. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.